Hello everyone, my name is Barrick. I'm one of the lead engineers and founders of the Redstone Development Foundation. And today I'm going to show you the inner workings of my Redstone TV. It's a 21 by 21 pixel Redstone display. If you haven't already, I highly recommend checking out the videos of it in action, uh, including my most recent one, which is a special message from the RDF to Reddit. Uh, it will definitely help with understanding what is going on in this video. So, let me give you a brief tour. Right now I've eliminated all of the memory modules that I had used for my last animation. Uh, it'll help pave the way for showing you what, uh, how to set this yourself. Now the activation button feed line is right down here. And that's what will turn on your animation when you get it all set up. Uh, this here is a cutaway example to show you the functionality of the display, if you're curious. I've got a couple of different par uh, points marked all throughout this uh, device with obsidian markers to kind of give you an idea of what's what. Uh, this is the paste position for the memory module sets, is right here in front of this sign. Uh, don't erase anything beyond this point. Uh, it's all necessary for the TV to function. So if you do, uh, things might not work as intended. Now, I highly recommend two things. First, a fly mod of some kind. Because without a fly mod, programming this thing is a pain in the butt. Uh, granted, it's fairly tedious as is, but I've done the best I can. Uh, the other thing I highly recommend uh, in fact, you won't even be able to really do anything with this without it, is some kind of world editing program. Uh, preferably in-game world editing program, like uh, Cuboid or World Edit or something like that. Uh, I'll give you a quick uh, uh, tour here, an explanation of the memory modules that are used to store the frames of animation. Uh, these are individual memory modules. Uh, each one has a timing set of repeaters, which is this group here, uh, that can be adjusted, either deleted or added to, to adjust the timing of uh, the individual frames of your animation. That's how I was able to have uh, the Reddit alien wink. Now this is the same thing, but with a reduced repeater count. Uh, anything uh, beyond this repeater is, is optional, but these repeaters here are necessary for the memory modules to function. So don't get rid of those. All right, now how this works is when a signal is input, it connects to this bit, and the bit sends a signal down the output feed, as well as a signal into the timing uh, delay here, which sends a signal back to reset the bit, so that all of these are sequential and also self-resetting. The only difference between a pixel that is on and a pixel that is off is the position of this repeater right here. Uh, the pixel is set to off if there's a repeater here pointed that way. Uh, if there is no repeater there and it's just redstone, then the pixel is set to on. Now this makes the uh, programming of the TV pretty simple, quick and easy, uh, and if you make a mistake it's easily correctable. So let me go through a little bit of that. There's three different types of, uh, well, I suppose you could say, sets here. Now, the first one is the activation wall. Now the activation wall is tacked onto the end of your animation and it's what sets the whole thing in motion when you push the activation button. The other one is the dead pixel reset wall. If for any reason uh, the chunks are deloaded while the TV is on, say for example you die or log out or leave the area, uh, the repeaters within the memory modules will get stuck and there's no way to reset them without unless you send a blank an all signal on all the way through the entire memory module set. So that's what this does, is it's just a bunch of very short timed uh, memory modules all set to on. So if ever you get some dead pixels that aren't responding like they should or they're stuck on or off, just tack this onto the end of your animation 
uh, and send an activation signal through and it will reset all of the pixels for you. And then finally, and also the most useful one, is the full set of memory modules with all of their pixels off. This lets you set all of the pixels however you want to, to make the animation. Now, these obsidian markers, such as this one, are the copy positions for each one of these different sets of tools. So, for example, that's copy position one. This here is copy position two. Uh, this particular uh, obsidian is not a copy position. It's a marker for the middle of the verticals. And then this bridge is a marker for the horizontal uh, middle of all of the pixels. Now the horizontal lines are staggered. So this one and this one and this one, they're all, that's all one line of pixels. That's to prevent the redstone from interacting and interfering with each other. Uh, it can get a little confusing at times, I know, sorry, that's just kind of how it has to be, but you get used to it pre pretty quickly. Okay, so now that we have all of the regions selected for the uh, blank memory module set, uh, you can stand anywhere you want, but generally I stand here, it's pretty simple, and copy, and then run over here. to the initial memory module set paste position. Now from here, you hit paste, and voila. You've got a blank mo memory module set that is connected to the TV. From this point, uh, it comes the programming. Now the programming of the TV is pretty simple, and like I said, it makes it it's a lot easier if you have a fly mod of some kind. I use uh, zombies fly mod. Um, which is linked in the RDF thread. So you can uh, get that if you need it. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, anyway, to set a pixel on, you just slide right into one of these little holes and you pop out the repeater, replace it with redstone, and voila, it's on. Uh, if you ever make a mistake, it's very easy. You just get rid of that redstone, replace it with a repeater, and the pixels reset back to off. So for our little um, display here, we're going to do something really simple. We're just going to set the pixels on the side ends on, and then the pixels vertical and bottom. Now there's a, an additional uh, step for any of the pixels that are on the top of the display. Uh, you have to, when you destroy it and you replace the, the redstone, you can see that it interferes with the redstone next to it. So what you have to do is also add a block on top of the redstone to break that connection. That's how you do it for any of the lower offset pixels. And for the higher offset pixels, like this guy, uh, you set the block on top of the lower offset pixel to break this connection here, just like that. So if you ever have weird errors going on on the top of your TV, chances are one of these blocks is not placed properly. Okay, so we'll place that because we don't want that pixel on. There we go. And we'll zip on down to the bottom here. Okay. Place that pixel. And voila! We have got a four pixel animation. Go us! All right. So, t to set the activation of said animation, we need the activation wall. Now, the activation wall's markers are different than the other two tool sets. Uh, they're uh, set over this way just to help prevent confusion. So there's the activation wall copy position one, and here is copy position two. And we zip right down to the base level and copy. Zip right over here. Now you're going to want to tack the activation onto the end of your memory modules, not actually inside the module itself. It'll screw things up and bad things will happen. So we paste it here, 
and voila, we are set. Good timing, too, because it's getting to be about nighttime. It'll be a lot easier to see our TV at night. Um, of course, you're welcome to make like a little theater or something, that you, whatever you want to do on your own uh, system. Now, I highly uh, discourage using this in um, a multiplayer server. Oops. Because uh, if you do and you turn it on, it will lag kick you. And it will lag kick everyone in the area unless you are local to the server. Uh, it's pretty brutal on uh, on servers. So, like I said, don't I don't recommend putting this on your server. I'll probably make a smaller one, something that's a little more usable for servers. But, eh, figure if I'm gonna go do all this work, I might as well go big. Okay, so in the Obsidian spot that uh, it works acts as the copy position marker is where you put the repeater here to make sure that all of the, the signal gets sent to the activation uh, feed. Now this line of activation, ah, whenever it turns night it always tends to lag me when I'm running fraps. Sorry about that. Alright, so this activation line goes all the way down here as you can see. And about where it hooks in here is as far as you're going to want to go with an animation frame set. Uh, too much further than that and you end up hitting uh, the chunk loading zone and it's bad. Because your animation won't function properly. Okay, so now that we have that all set up and the activation feed is set, uh, you can count out the lines to make sure that the... Uh, signal gets fed properly. You can get rid of this to prevent it from continuing on if you want. It's up to you. It's totally optional. And we'll head back up here. Let it load the lighting. Oh, my poor computer. I abuse it so. Okay. So we'll give it a second to calm down. Calm down. All right, and then we hit the activation button, cross our fingers, and as long as I didn't screw up, we should have four pixels show up on the screen. I think I screwed up, because I only saw three, unless it just didn't load, which is also a possibility, because it'll do that sometimes when it lags. Nope, that top pixel. All right. So in the case of this top pixel, uh, I might have added the block wrong or something along those lines. Uh, it doesn't look like I did anything wrong, which is kind of odd. So it's probably just a, uh, a system lag issue with my computer running fraps and talking and doing all of that. So it should work properly. Uh, if you do have any problems, feel free to talk uh, to send me a message and uh, either on Minecraft. Uh, forums, which is our main uh, Redstone Development Foundation thread. You can see the link in the description of this video. Or also on the Planet Minecraft forums, which is the uh, place where we post all of our project schematics. And we also have a main uh, thread in their forums as well. So thank you for watching. I hope you have fun with this, and I look forward to seeing what you can do.